what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today we are making a delicious plantain waffle yes you heard it who knew plantains could be so versatile yes we are going to take two overripe plantains and make a delicious waffle now how's that for your brunch let's get to it so i have two overripe plantains please make sure that when you use your plantain they're overripe they have a lot of melanin on it just like this and you can tell it's overripe by these little red dots that you see on top if it's overripe you'll have a better chance of making a sweeter waffle not only that it'll be nice and soft and a lot easier to mash I have some pancake mix. Make sure you buy the buttermilk complete because we really don't need to complicate this recipe by having to add eggs and all that other stuff like milk. So make sure you get the buttermilk complete. It'll make the recipe so much more easier. I'm using this one, the pearl milling one, otherwise known as Aunt Jemima. Cinnamon, almond essence, vanilla, rose water, and ground nutmeg. I'm also using some Kerrygold butter. This is a non-stick waffle griddle, but I always like to coat it with some butter. It'll give the waffle a lot more flavor and a tiny bit of crisp around the edges. And last but not least, I got a cup of water. So I got my two overripe plantains. I took the skin off. Here's the peel. And all I'm going to do now is just mash it. Now this is, this requires a little a bit of muscle, but as you can see with a potato masher, it's a lot more easier. We are all done. So much easier than using a fork or any other utensil. Just get yourself a potato smasher or potato masher. And there you go. I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Or you could go to Amazon and get yourself a potato masher. Really doesn't matter as long as you get one. And there it is. So I'm adding two cups of pancake mix. And now I'm gonna slowly add water until I reach my desired consistency. Now you could also substitute the plantain for overripe bananas if you ever have some bananas that are about to spoil or they've become way too soft don't throw them out all you got to do is get some pancake mix and just smash those bananas into the pancake mix and make yourself some banana pancakes and i guess you could use the same for um this plantain waffle you can make pancakes instead of waffles as well now we're going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of rose water, a half a teaspoon of some almond essence. I love almond essence. I also use almond essence in porridge. We're going to sprinkle a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of that ground nutmeg. So all I'm doing is just whisking the ingredients together. Remember we had two cups of pancake mix, one and one fourth cup of water, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a teaspoon of rose water. I already put the butter on top before I heated it. So now we have a nice browned butter surface to catch this plantain waffle. Now let's pour, this is my favorite part. So I poured my batter in, I am going to close this. I did set the temperature to medium because I don't want to burn it. All right, there's the first plantain waffle. Honestly, it only took like 60 seconds <laughs> for it to come out like this. I am going to pour another one. And let's see how many we get out of this batch. This smells amazing, y'all. There 
there goes another one. So here's our finished product, guys. I just chopped some fresh strawberries on top and sprinkled a little powdered sugar. And this is it. Honestly, I tasted a piece of it. Um, it's not that sweet. It's really not as sweet as you would think it is. But I don't think you really need syrup on top unless you truly have a sweet tooth. But this can definitely be eaten with or without syrup. Thank you for watching and make sure you tap on that subscribe button.